Hi everyone, this is Dan Edmondson with another tip of the week. And today what I want to talk about is something, a quality about paint that's maybe not fully understood. And that is opacity and transparency. And a lot of times people understand the idea behind transparent and opaque colors, but they don't understand the practical application of it in terms of painting. And we all go to the art store and we see the tubes and a lot of times they'll have these little squares or boxes on them and it'll tell you whether or not the paint is opaque or transparent, right? So, for example, the some of the transparent colors are lizard crimson and permanent rose and olive green and transparent oxide red. Those are very transparent. And the opaque colors are generally the cadmium colors, the umbers, and titanium white or cremnants white. Whatever you're using in terms of white is always very opaque. So I'm just going to cover that real quickly. It's a real quick thing to understand. To understand that what we want to do is we want to know how it behaves. Well, the characteristics of transparency in the background of this painting here, that's all been painted with transparent color. And transparent color has a tendency to recede, and opaque color has a tendency to advance. And that's pretty much it from a painting perspective. That's all you really need to know. So if you are going to use in a background like this, you might use transparent oxide red, little ultramarine and a little olive green or a little black to allow it to recede. Whereas up here in our advancing areas, we are going to use more cadmium colors and more like terra rosas, things like that. And that's what allows the paint to advance. And of course, white paint even advances even more because it's very opaque. You see what I'm saying? So when you're working it with a painting, you want to know what are the qualities I want to have. Do I want this piece of paint to recede? It's like background here, this shadow. We want it to recede, not only in terms of receding because we want it to go around, but because we don't want the eye to spend a lot of time with it. Whereas the white of a tablecloth, we want to advance and be opaque and have the feeling of solidity. Now there's another way to do it too is you can actually take opaque paint and put it on thinly and it will of course have a transparent quality too. Like you'll see through by seeing whatever's underneath. So that's another way to use advancing and receding qualities with any kind of paint. But really that's the secret. If you want advancing planes, use opaque paint. If you want receding planes, use transparent paint. Here you go. You see, see how opaque this is. See how this advances so much over the background. And that is entirely because they're almost the same color. But it's all because this is opaque and this is transparent. Okay? Very simple, but very important to know. And this is the kind of techniques and tips and information that I teach in my classes. So if you have any desire to get better or just have a deeper understanding of art, I really strongly encourage you to take one of my classes. And I don't try to force my style on you because once you understand the principles of painting, it's about things like advancing and receding planes. It doesn't matter whether you're impressionistic or realism or photorealism or a tonalist. The same principles all apply. So if it's something you're interested in getting better at, I strongly recommend you take one of my classes. Well, that's Dan Edmondson with another tip of the week. You have a fantastic day and paint happy.